Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to take full control of a Windows registry key in your Windows computer. So it should be a pretty straightforward process here. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'd suggest would be to open up the Start menu, type in RegEdit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match to go back to Registry Editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that. And then select Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to select yes. Now, before you do anything in the registry, I'd highly suggest you create a backup of it. In order to do that, it's very simple. Go ahead and left click on the file tab, and then select export. Save it to a convenient location on the computer. File name should be something straightforward. Usually, I'd recommend the date in which you're making the backup. And then again, export range selected to all. Click the save button, and that should be about it. And if you ever need to import it back in, just do File, Import, and navigate over to the area in which the file is saved. So again, pretty straightforward. Once you've done that, now you want to go locate the actual registry key you want to take complete ownership of. So let me just find a random folder in here. And you want to right click on it. Select Permissions. Now you want to select the Advanced button right down here. Select where it says Owner, click the Change button. Now you want to just type in your username or get as close to it as you can. And then type the Check Names button. There you go. Once you do that, you want to select OK. Select Replace Owner on the Subcontainers and Objects. Then select Apply and OK. Now that you've done that, you want to check marks of the box here that says Full Control underneath Allow. And then select Apply and OK. And that should be about it, guys. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.